welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here each week you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. So we have talked about drayage, what it is, how it's charged, and how it relates to the association, the general contractor, and to the exhibitor. When I was looking for a way to complete this series, I realized that there's so much more information to give you. In drayage terminology, more ways to control drayage costs, and even influence future ways to charge for drayage. So let's continue to look at ways of controlling drayage costs. One, you can definitely send less literature and giveaways. Think about how you have to be careful that your airport luggage is not overweight. <laughs> it's not easy with 50 pound maximums for a week on the road. <laughs> Attendees have the same concerns and avoid the extra weight. Train your staff to identify customer needs and have good follow-up tools for them to use. Well, but that's a different subject. All right, number two. Don't keep using the same heavy exhibit just because you can't afford a new one. Now, I would suggest that you can't afford not to do a new one since drayage costs keep rising to keep up with declining show weights. This process has accelerated with the use of fabrics. More and more general contractors are realizing show drayage weight reductions and in turn keep raising the cost of drayage. All right, number three. Look into what I call the hybrid exhibit. They combine good, strong, lockable counters with lightweight fabrics for back walls, overhead signs, and large graphics. A good mix of exhibitry will balance better transportation and drayage costs with a little more on-site labor as these fabric exhibits tend to require more setup time. Now a full service display house like Exhibit Edge can show you lots of options. And remember that they are well equipped to blend lightweight manufacturer components with custom elements to create these unique hybrid exhibits. All right, um, number four. General contractor rentals can be an exhibit of choice as they include all shipping, drayage, and labor costs in the rental price. There are shows where this can be an obvious cost saver. Now you can still use your overhead sign and, and other custom elements to complement these rentals. Okay? All right, number five. Fabrics, fabrics, fabrics. <laughs> there is so much being done with fabrics that you should be considering them as part of your exhibit program for small exhibits, but even more as you move to larger sizes. Number six, <laughs> another option is to share space in another company's exhibit and share expenses proportionally. Now this is called a co-op arrangement. This is especially good when you are trying out a new show. A flat fee is agreed upon, which corresponds with the amount of space provided, let's say. All right, number seven. Now, this is my favorite way of reducing transportation and drayage. Work with a local, they call them destination management firms. They provide props and structures that create theme exhibits. This works great in remote locations such as Hawaii. Now, we have coordinated tiki bars, military outposts, uh, photo booths, and other themes that require little shipping or drayage. I guess the overall message here is to kind of think outside the box and look at your show schedule as a total package. Each show is different, and there are lots of ways to reduce costs that go well beyond just doing less with less. All right, next week I'm really gonna stretch by talking about future ways that general contractors could charge for drayage 
and how you can influence their ideas. As always, please respond with your questions or comments and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. Hey, we'll see you next week. Until then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you, relax in the Exhibitor Lounge. <laughs>